Hey guys, Jason the X for SCNS Live, powered by Cinelinks.com, and this is the figure review of the Takara Transformers Masterpiece MP29 Destron Laser Wave. Why? Laser Wave? Really? It's Shock Wave. It is not Laser Wave. Anyway, this guy is great. Uh, look, I, I, I think I reviewed my old school Shock Wave, which... Uh, maybe there'll be like a description over here or a link or something to that other inter to that other review. But dude, it's about time we got some more Decepticons in this line. And this is a really good bot. Now, the gun mode is... I, I wish I could find my old Shockwave or had broken it out for this review. But man, it's a uh, pretty good size. My fingers kind of curl underneath, but you know... Pretty good sized gun. This is a very, very well done figure with a great transformation. But anyway, we're going to get him out of the way and we're going to take a look at the box he comes in. So you have uh, the Transformers Masterpiece box. You've got Shockwave there, the two Decepticon emblems on his arms. Looking great. There he is in his cannon mode MP29 Laser Wave, which, yeah, on the side, Destron Laser Wave. That side, Destron Laser Wave. On the top, you got him doing a little bit of a salute. On the bottom, you got the contents of the box right there. And on the back is where all the action happens. I'm just slamming this thing around. But yeah, there you go. Get a look, good look at the figure there. His modes, how he compares to some other bots. The little stand he comes with, how this integrates with him. It's just really well done. And that is it. That went through good. Anyway. So here's Shockwave in his Vulcan mode, as they call it. It's a really great piece. Now, a couple of things he comes with. Of course, he does come with your card. Your card. So is this your card? Is that your card? Got a shot of him on the back end. We saw on the back and some of his tech specs. Laser Vulcan mode. He also comes with a big sheet of instructions here. Just more shots of him, a little turnaround there. The laser Vulcan, actually showing he does come with a little micro version, which is pretty damn cool. I like that. And there's the stand, how it integrates, and of course, all of the instructions to turn this guy. Just throwing stuff around here. Now, he comes with a number of hands and accessories, but I'll get into all that later. We're going to talk about this guy first. Now, for comparison, because I don't have anything to really compare him to. Here he is with uh, Hot Rod, our last masterpiece. So you see how he scales with that. Um, here he is with, uh, um, this is an actual gun. So there, there, there you got a size of what he, what he should be like. So, yeah, um, just look at the detail in this guy. So you got... The clear LED, well, the clear plastic, not clear plastic. God, we can't talk. You got the purple plastic here, which has several settings. This is like the glowing kind of repeated shot one. But you've got a switch on the side here that then when you depress the trigger, you got just lighting for when it depresses. So, yeah, look at that. There's a shot of the barrel. Now, this the hoses always deteriorate on this on these guys, the old school ones. This is actually a metal spring that's coiled. You can see it's, you know, you can see right through it. So, yeah, this is a great idea. You've got the little translucent piece for the viewfinder. You've got the little trigger down here. He doesn't light up in the chest, which was a little disappointing. Just right there. Now, he, does, he gets a little gappy in the back here. Here's where the feet are. And then this part... But, you know, it's from the back. You're not going to really see that. You're looking at the business end of this thing. And it's really cool. And it's it's actually, and this is my favorite part, just the transformation of this guy. But also, he comes with this stand here, which also you can fold this up and double it onto a backpack. So it does have some integration with the robot. It just kind of clicks in. Now, he does come with uh, several sets of hands, but I think I'll sh show those off once we get them transformed. Anyway... Uh, where to start, where to start. Let's start with the legs. So he tabs in right here at this piece, into the bottom of this, and he tabs in right here. So first thing you want to do, take this, and this tabs in, two little slots, and tabs there, and it tabs in here. Got another slot, another tab here. So take these out, open them up, 
Then you want to take the legs and just kind of bring them down away from the body, split it, and take the foot, rotate that out of the way, take this shin, which is going to go to the front, fold it out and fold it down. There's a tab and a slot here. You're just going to kind of marry those together. Take the leg, straighten it out. That side is going to go that way. And then there's another tab and a slot. If you look, tab and a slot right here. And you're going to push those together. And there you have one of his legs. So I like the leg transformation on this guy. So same thing with this side. Just bring that down. Bring this out. Fold it up. Tab these together. Turn this so the hollow piece is to the front. And you can see it tab in right there. And you just want to rotate at the thigh and just kind of squeeze these panels together. Now this will come untabbed quite often, but it tabs together so easy it's not that big of a deal. So next you want to bring up the body at the waist. Make sure the trigger gets tucked in and in here is a little drop down, like a shutter door. And that covers up where the trigger went. Now uh, this guy's starting to get kind of tall, so up here you come up to the barrel. You want to take these pieces and open them up and just kind of bring them up like that and just leave them out. Take these arms and that will just fall down because there's nothing supporting it anymore. Bring the arms down. They're on a hinge here inside the chest and a hinge at the shoulders. And just bring those down. Take the backpack here. And you got this double hinge. Now, this is a die cast part here, and the feet are actually die cast too. But they're hiding the wire for the LED in between these pieces. You can see they're sandwiched. There's a wire going to this LED over here, which still works in robot mode if you actually um, take this up and pull the trigger back down. You can see it still works. So, yeah, there's a wire going down through there. So, you know, be mindful of that. I don't want you guys breaking your toys. Take the backpack and just kind of squeeze it together. It'll tab in. And there's two tabs in the back, and you'll just plug that in. Also, these spots on the leg, you can go ahead and bring those up. Make it look a little bit better. Actually, that hinders articulation. I'm going to leave those down. There we go. And then, last but not least, his head is right down in here. You just want to kind of grab a hold, pull it up, and it'll click in right there. And guys, there you've got Shockwave, Laser Wave, in his robot mode. And really nice looking bot. I mean, let's take a look at him. Look at that eye. Look at that eye. It has light piping. That is some great light piping, too. Uh, turn around towards my lights back here. It looks really good. But yeah, the color of them, I kind of wish it was a little darker, but you know what? Uh, I can dig it. Now these emblems here, they're stickers. Oh, you want to turn the hand around. They're stickers, and he actually came with a couple of extra ones. So if you're needing some repro labels or something, you're going to have a couple left. Kind of different Decepticon emblems there. Or if you got a poly on, there's a perfect one on there for it, just saying. Yeah, look at that chest. The articulation is so nice on this guy. Now, another thing. This part here. has another LED in there. Oh, also, you can remove the hose, but you can just leave it on for transformation. But it can be removed on both sides, but I, I like it just leaving it on there. It's so worry-free. Now, the other piece, this part here, take that and untab the backpack from here. And you can take the clear part and kind of slide it up onto his back, start folding in this part. There you go. You just want to get it up there until it clicks. And there will be another two slots for these two tabs on the back. You just bring those together. And then just close this up. And it kind of looks like that big battery compartment that he had. And still very, very cool. Comparison wise, let's go ahead and compare this guy. Oh, I'm sorry. we got to get to the articulation. Now you can get some ankle articulation about that far. Nice ratchety joint there. 
Got another ratchet joint. I like what these knees do. The ratchet is on one side, but this side is still hinged. We well, can't go very far. The side skirts will come up and out to the side. So you can get another ratchet there and you can go out with it. Um, he does have a waist joint if you... Actually, no, he just got an ab crutch. Oh, there is a waist joint. It just gotta, you gotta make sure you're hitting it right when you turn it. There you go. And only go about that far. So, and you do get an ab articulation here, but you have to untab the backpack for it, which is kind of a bummer. The head is on a very nice expressive ball joint. I mean, you can look up, you can look down, look like he's examining something, and almost looking straight up. I really like that head articulation. And these have that double elbow, well, double shoulder joint, the joints in the chest and at the shoulder. Nice ratchety. We'll go 90 degrees both ways, another ratchet joint. And this hand will spin. Now this hand also is removable, both of them are. He comes with several different hands, so get that out of the way. I was waiting to do this. He does come with a solid version of his cannon here. And these just pop off just like that. Really easy. I don't like this one because why am I putting on a solid one when there's an LED in there that I need to show off? But if you want it to, knock your bumblebee on the floor that you were getting ready to show. He does have a hand for that side, just like the other one. You just pop that on. He comes with two, um, I'm going to slap you across the face hands, one solid and one translucent. And also another translucent hand for the other side if you just want that there. There's no lights in the other side though. Just so you know, I'll go ahead and leave that one on for the rest of the review. So you're not really getting any benefit doing that, and it is one part. I do hate how that, that panel just pops off from time to time. I have him looking at you with this dark soul aside. Oh. Picking up my bone will be off the floor. And the other accessory he comes with is this shock wave. Yes, he comes with a little handheld shock wave. And it's just got a little braided cord here for the um, for the cabling. Comparison-wise, here he is next to the Masterpiece Megatron handheld that we've seen sometimes. And I like that. It's a nice little accessory. And I, I got Soundwave holding it. I would have a Polyon holding it, but Polyon needs some repairs. If you've bought a Polyon, you know what I'm talking about. So here he is next to Soundwave. The waves. Looks like they're... This is awkward. He's holding him. Comparison, here he is with Bumblebee. Oops, got him kind of not standing straight here. There we go. So yeah, there he is next to Bumblebee. Here he is next to uh, Jason knocking the camera down. Ironhide. So you get an idea of how he's a little bit taller than Ironhide, and I think he could have been a little bit taller. Because if you look at him next to Soundwave, I mean, they're about the same height, but Soundwave is just a little bit taller. And, of course, here he is, our standard MP10. So, anyway, is this guy an awesome figure? Yes. The transformation is just so nostalgic and reminiscent of the old figure. I definitely recommend picking him up. He comes with a lot of great accessories. This is just a nice guy to have. And also, we've got more Decepticons, which is even better. Anyway, guys, that's it for the review. Make sure you like this video, subscribe, check out everything else we do. Let me know what you're collecting. I want to hear it in the comments. And until next time, guys, catch you later.